Hey guys, welcome to another item Inc. production. My name is Tech009, and today we're going to be showing you how to replace a image processor board on a Xerox Phaser 7800 color printer, part number 960K72100 or 960K72101 or 960K72102. You might have to replace the image processing board if your unit boots to green screen and then returns to energy saver screen and cycles back and forth or your USB or network connectors are not getting recognized or if your machine freezes as soon as you push the power on switch. Remember, before we start doing any technical work on any machine, you must turn the machine off first and don't forget to unplug the power cord in the back. All right, guys, we're going to start by removing the three screws that hold the image processing board on the machine. Pull the image processing board out of the machine by the handle. All right, that will begin by removing the memory then you can use a blade to carefully pull out the SD card. You can do it with your fingernails if you have to. I will begin to remove the hard drive. In order to remove the hard drive, you have to remove the four mount screws on the back of the board. Once that is done, carefully flip the board back to the front and slide the hard drive out of the connector. If you have your printer on a network with a static IP address, you will need to remove the EEPROM chip to save that information over to the new board. Also, make sure you look at the orientation of the EEPROM chip before removing it. Be careful with the pins when taking this EEPROM out. It is very fragile. All right, guys. Now let's put the parts back in the new board. Let's start with the EEPROM chip. Be very careful not to bend the pins. And don't forget the orientation of the chip. If you get a EEPROM chip error, you will have to remove the EEPROM chip and flip it around. All right, now let's insert the SD card back in the metal slot. Place the hard drive in position, slide it back into the connector. Then let's place the RAM back into the memory slot. Finally, we're going to turn the image processing board carefully to the back to screw the hard drive back in place. All right, guys, that's it. We have put everything back into place. Make sure that everything, everything is secured.
Now let's slide the image processor board back into the machine and hand tight the three screws back in place. And you're done. All right, guys, hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Visit our website or just give us a call.